tells ain't loyal. Girl, you ain't got no room. Little cricket. <clears throat> okay, that's better. Y'all, it's time for a chit chat. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since we've done a chit chat because I've been busy, girl. It's a fall. Headed towards winter, and I've been busy. But y'all know how we do this. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. So we got a lot to talk about. I'm going to try to slow it down. I, this is my breakfast. Big as hell. I'm going to give y'all some hair porn. Um, I straightened my hair. Well, blew out my hair and put a flat iron through it. When, when, how long has it been? Two days, three days ago, and it rained here in Dallas, the Dallas area, and of course my hair shrunk. Um, so what I had look at the gray, look at the gray. What I wanted to do was have y'all been seeing some of those not seeing, but have you seen some of those cute little quick videos where the girl is doing her hair on the plane so she can get beautiful curls and she used basically hold on y'all is these type of rollers big rollers to give her hair like a nice beautiful voluptuous curls i did that by accident when we were in i know there was a pause we were in austin and i wanted to do like a cute little retro look and when i took it down i had this beautiful curls and i was like I got two more of those holes so we're gonna try to do that all over my head but we're gonna try to see if I can fit all three in I have some bigger flexi rods but I don't want to do that I want to try to utilize three but I think what I'm gonna have to do is probably let me take this my watch off y'all I will probably have to um I don't know y'all maybe do you think I should straighten out my hair just a little bit more or this is okay because I got a lot of shrinkage like a lot girl the back is like beavered in I don't know what do y'all think let me back up some this is just a trial to see if it'll work um to see if three will fit I know it'll work yeah I think I'm going to shit shoot sure sure y'all I'm gonna plug in this Timo. Timu. No, it's not a Timo. Girl, this is Timo. Yeah. So let's talk about my personal life. Everything's going well as it as it, you know, as well as it can go, girl. I have no complaints, put it like that. Um fall break is coming up. First of all, I was so no, Thanksgiving break. I'm like, y'all just don't get a day off of Thanksgiving. You have to have the whole week. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So, JB's going to be off. And so, my husband is currently in Arizona. Child, he going to message me a couple of days ago. He's like, how long does he have off? I know he has like a week off. He's like, you want to meet me in Midland? I'm like, what? Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> so, we're going to go to, meaning JB and I are going to meet my husband Close to Odessa. It's about a five hour drive. Not that bad, y'all. Not that bad at all. So that's what we're going to do this week. Y'all can come with us. If you look at my vlogs, that's what we'll be doing. So it's cooler weather here. And baby, the allergies are on one. JB and I are back on our singular. I actually need to go pick up his medication sometime this week because he's down to nothing. And so it's really important, especially if you are asthmatic, to be, you know, stay on top of your medication. So definitely on singular every day um, and then taking Benadryl as needed. OK, because you, you got to be careful with that stuff. So, so y'all, <sighs> JB was doing good and swam, but JB got a big head. Vivian. Why does it have to be with swim? Because um, with all that hair, he needs to wear a swim cap. And I was then telling him, like, he needs to wear a swim cap. Work. And he, so when I tell you this child hair got so freaking messed up, it only took two months. That's all, that's all they needed. He wasn't washing his hair. Like I was telling him, I'm like, you need to wash that chlorine out. Wasn't doing that. 
And so I said, you know what? So we had to cut his hair. My husband and I was, he was literally in tears. And y'all, it was, it was, it was traumatic for me too. He was in tears. We had to cut because he was so mad at. Um, and so, you know, dealing with that. Now with the weather changing, the swim coach recommended, she's like, you know what, the weather changing and it's going to be cold. They need, the best thing is to give them, get them a robe. I'm like, a robe? A cotton robe so as soon as they get out they put it on and then they can go change we tried that it was cold but another thing is that it is so dark outside by the time we get home y'all it is like six o'clock and I can't see at night I really can't it's really hard for me to see it now especially on these country roads and child the first week when the temperature dropped he was shivering and he was like oh mama I, I said okay well I, we could pull you out he's like okay I said, because it's going to get cooler. It wasn't, it was only like, I think that night, it was 68. I said, baby, it's going to get down cooler. Winter hasn't even hit. So pulling him out and we will more than likely put him back in swim lessons come um, the springtime. Because I think it's good for him to be in that. He really did. He really did enjoy it. Plus, I bought all this stuff, hell. <laughs> what else, you guys? So, the holidays are coming up. And, of course, since no one is here but me, I'm more than likely will just... I already bought some stuff, so I'll make myself something to eat. But, <clears throat> and more than likely, we'll go over to my best friend's house. Those of you who don't know, my best friend lives in the same subdivision. When I mean, like, best friend, this is someone I've been friends with since college. 20 plus years okay is that 20 years girl I don't know so yeah that's what we're going to be doing now my mother is having a her um community thing but we're going to be in Odessa so we're not gonna be able to go to that yeah is that longer yeah it's longer all right child on to something that's a little bit more lighthearted. so JB got this Xbox. This is why this is why I got off the subject because I was talking about my uh my losing my temper with him or losing not necessarily temper, my patience is thin sometimes with this child. So he has this dang on X he has this Xbox, which we got from the Goodwill a couple of years a couple of months ago, excuse me. And um he we had to get everything so that he could he could do something with it, right? And so I bought the controllers and I got the power cell, which wasn't a lot of money. I would have to say, since the Xbox from the good was like $20 and everything else was like $50. So $75 for an Xbox, you know, we did good. So, um, he has Sims on it, right? So I was like, JB, let's play Sims because I love Sims, y'all. So I was like, JB, we should build someone that we know. And we looked at each other and I said, Aunt Nikki, my sister. <laughs> Oh, we we built my sister. When I tell you, I am cracking up laughing. I'm gonna show y'all some of the videos. Out of the way. Oh my God, we made we made Aunt Nikki. Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> what is she wearing? Gloves. Gloves. Okay, let's play. We gotta, we gotta, child. Okay, JB, you gotta pick another inspiration besides food. Okay, food. <laughs> okay, food could be the first. One. What's the um, another inspiration? Pick a trait. Um, let's pick a trait. Uh, go down, boo boo. Uh, cheerful. We could do cheerful. We could do, do you know what they all mean? Which one are you gonna do, JB? Hot headed. <laughs> okay, yeah, do hot headed. Oh, Lord. Uh -uh. JB was, first of all, we spent a good 20 minutes, uh, on her creating her her face and you know making her so then we had to choose her career i said jb aunt nikki is smart do something tech or something like that why did he make her a food worker i said you know what jb you wait till i tell her about this made her a food worker anybody who comes over he kicks them out yeah you know kicks them out um i'm like jb aunt nikki is not like this all right y'all i don't think i'm gonna do this all like this because I'm burning myself too. 
that's enough that's enough um personal stuff what i'm watching on youtube child nothing um listening to music you know a lot of music uh what else what else what else um still the free movies and all that i think was it on youtube acro acrimony or whatever with tyler perry we're gonna get to tyler perry ass we're we gonna get to him on netflix we're gonna get to it so anyway y'all um yeah i'm not really buying a lot but there was one video again i saw it before carlos king did a reaction on it some of these kids y'all and young adults are disrespectful as hell there was this one young woman i guess her mother called the cops on her because she was trashing the house and so the mom kicked her out and the grandfather meaning the mom's dad was coming to get the child and this is a child because she's under the age of 18 right she's not she's officially not an adult but when i tell you this girl was cursing everybody out anybody who was of authority she was cursing them out calling her mother all types of bees and hoes i mean i think the only person she didn't talk bad to was the grandfather so, so that should tell you something um the video escalates to where as she's getting out and the cops gave her plenty of chances plenty of chances they said you know you need to hurry up get your stuff and get out as she's getting out she tries to go back in for her dog and the cops say no 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 we, we need to go you gotta go you know you need to go not sure how i felt about that because that was one of the one of her triggers when she was upset because she said her her mom basically put the dog out and so i'm like okay you know she's trying to go with her grandfather and you know that dog is her pet why would you think that the child would want to leave her dog with the mom knowing how the mom treated the dog when she tried to go back in the cops like no no no, you gotta go she's arguing and fighting and she put her hands on that cop that was it that's a wrap so they arrested her she's sobbing she's crying <sighs> y'all this is my thing that child and i say i'm saying child because she's a child she's under the age of 18. she was not upset with her anger towards the cops and even towards the emts has nothing to do look at these ends have nothing to do with them it's all her mother and i could tell her mom was being a little childish in the sense of instead of acting like an adult or as her mother she was saying like and i'm ad living she was saying little stuff like yeah we'll see how you you are when you uh when you by yourself or yeah let's see let's see you now you that you going to jail like that stuff's not necessary that's you stooping down to her level like you are the mother you are the adult and i get it there, there may be some type of backstory that we didn't know about but I could tell that her grandfather wasn't saying anything like that. And she, again, she was not disrespecting her grandfather like that. Not on the level that she was disrespecting, disrespecting the mom. At the end of the day, she ate her ass went to jail. <laughs> Rightfully so. Because she, she was out of pocket. <clears throat> but sometimes, y'all, as parents, we got to own up sometimes to some of our bullshit. I mean, it is what it is. I, mean I just said it myself that I could be a little patient, impatient with JB and that causes him to get even more riled up so if I'm calm the child can remain calm and we both can be happy if not I'm gonna have some wine but <laughs> y'all know what I mean so we just have to set the standard is what I'm saying but child that video that I couldn't watch all that video it was raising my pressure I was like oh child I, I can't I can't I cannot I wouldn't be able to um so what else child i did not know one person or some video or short or something that i was watching on youtube was sharing people who stars from the 80s that passed away why well, did not know that the teenage girl from can't buy me love died what was her name y'all Mel melanie Mallory. i had no idea she passed away i was like what she's dead I I looked it up she died of an overdose she was like in her 40s i had no idea um speaking of death there are so many people just passing away tony baby tony todd basically candy man passed away apparently he had some type of Ill illness he was what 50 was he 59 
sad, sad, sad. I know he did some voiceover work. He has a great voice, great speaking voice. Um, he passed away, unfortunately. By the time I put this up, it would have been two weeks ago. That is just absolutely, absolutely sad. Um, another thing I saw not doing, dealing with deaths. Hell, might as well. Megan Good. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say, God forgive me. I shouldn't say that. Megan Good and Jonathan Majors got engaged. Congratulations. Um, y'all, I'm sorry, but that is just first of all. Congratulations. Um, but there is just something about that man that just makes my ass itch. I don't know what it is. You know what it is? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm do a comparison. And you're right, sis, the one that's the doctor. You're right. You said there's something off of his aura. He's the type of person to where if I wouldn't let him touch me, one. Meaning, like, not, not like that, but I wouldn't want to shake his hand because I feel like I would get dirty. Um, he's almost, like, when I see him, I feel like he's trying really hard to put on a front that's not him. How should I? I, I don't know how to, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but... He's dirty. Um, I, I hate to I hate to use dirty to to describe a person, but he's no no no. This is what it, he's a smudge. Yes, you know how when you when you know how you used to draw something, you try to erase it, and it's still there. You try as much as you can to erase. That's how Jonathan Majors is. He's a smudge. Okay, that's mean, but he is his his entire personality, his being is like that. I don't know what has happened to him for him to be that way, but. Um, I think, I don't know if she's still paying for his child support. <laughs> child support. Child, I would rather dip my entire hand in hot all grease than pay for some man's child support. You got your damn mind. I cannot. Jonathan, get, you better get a Netflix special. Speaking of Netflix, y'all, we're going to get into it. Black and Beauty. First of all, my best friend told me about this. She, she's like, you got to watch it. You just got to at least watch the first, the first episode. I must have restarted the first episode. I, I tried to watch the first episode so many times. I restarted it so many times, you guys. When I tell you this entire series is extremely triggering on all different levels, everything from drugs, alcohol, rape, um, prostitution, um, medical issues. It, it's just... It, it, download it, it's just tyler perry is on some bullshit i know that much um i wanted to get through it because i understand that debbie morgan was was in it and i love me some debbie morgan yeah all from the days of what was she on that uh soap opera to ease by you oh black and beauty i'm surprised that melvin and um what's her name monique <laughs> why does that why does the, uh, the actress that plays, um, what is her name, Mallory? Why does she remind, remind me of Monique? Chill. But anyway, I got through like, I got through like y'all three or four episodes. And I'm like, I, I don't think I could finish this. I don't think I could do it. Um, the writing again was all over the place. The only thing that was keeping me in it was Calvin. Calvin was the spoiler calvin is mallory's bodyguard no girl her driver her body i don't know what he is security he's somebody that, that that does shit for her and so but the entire show was just like all over the place angel was fine but it's all over the place and so i couldn't i really couldn't get into it again i need for tyler perry to get some more riders you can't be writing everything anymore man because yeah you got better wigs but no so yeah three seasons of that finished from i'm liking the direction it's going i really am if you are not watching from please look into it it's like lost it's like lost meets walking dead let's let's say that it's like lost meets walking dead just just watch it y'all just watch it it's pleasantly i'm surprised i'm saying it this long so I'm really confused 
with the last and man we're on season three right yeah season three i'm confused with the last episode but i am still going to stick with it because i like the um i like the show so far silo is back i'm still trying to get through the first episode because it's a little slow and i really don't like that they're going back and forth future present I, I can't it's really hard for me to keep up with stuff like that but i'm trying i'm trying to i'm trying to keep up with it because it has common in it even though common gets on my nerves he's eye candy okay he's eye candy that's all he's good for um what else what else what else y'all is there gonna be a fallout season two fallout was my freaking show but i wonder if there's gonna be a season two i'm not sure um time left I want to watch on Netflix and let me know if any of y'all have seen it. Martha Stewart has a documentary or something on Netflix and it's called Child Martha. <laughs> so original. So <laughs> I want to see it. Let me know if y'all have seen it and if it's any good. Should I waste my time? Should I? Should I? Should I? So I, I kind of want to see it though just to see what it's about. Uh, I know I'm going through this pretty fast y'all but I have a meeting soon. Let me see. I got time what else y'all nothing else um so we do have things planned for the fall winter time so for example we already went to go see Coraline um they was playing it in the movie movie theaters and so we saw it and child I snuck my pizza in there again yeah JB child and I snuck my pizza in there again child JB be so he's like mama you can't be you can look I can sneak a whole pizza. Let me show y'all how I do it. Hold on, y'all. And well, I have a giveaway too, and I'm gonna show y'all what that is. So yeah, let me go get. Let me go show y'all what I do. Let me get my blanket. Do it. Movie theater. There's either kids, meaning teenagers, or you got um, Auntie Mame, who's like she's like 60 years old. You know nothing wrong with that. So they ain't they ain't paying attention. My country ass. This is what I do. Right. We got the blanket. Right. Got my blanket. JB got his stuff and I, I you know I got my purse and I'm going in I'm, I'm looking at them I got all this big hair that they, they they you know they memorize they're, they're mesmerized you know so I'm like hey how y'all doing here you go there's my barcode there you go hi how you doing hey baby how you doing bye take care thank you and that's it that's how I do it every time I go in there I say hi I'm country I'm soft I'm talking to them and they're like, they're like, okay, enjoy, enjoy. I go get me something to drink. Go get my alcohol. Because this, this place has a bar. Child, yes, yeah, they have a bar. And I mind my business. So we're going to go see Moana Part 2 the weekend of um, Thanksgiving. And I told JB, I said, you know what? I'm going to get Popeyes. He said, mama. I said, mama, my ass. <laughs> I'm going to get Popeyes. Because this Popeyes is damn good. Because, yes, I'm going to be in there in Moana. They Samoan, they they South Pacific, they like fried chicken too. So we're gonna be eating chicken. I'm gonna be eating chicken. Mama's like, JB's like, Mama, you're gonna have the whole place making a lot of chicken. I said it's gonna be heaven. <laughs> it's gonna be smelling like heaven, is what it is. J I said, JB, don't be a hater. JB, JB is really big into he follows the rules. That's just he's exactly that's my husband's personality. Wanting to follow the rules. I said, JB, live a little. <laughs> live a little, JB. Y'all, we're going to get into this giveaway. I forgot all about this giveaway, y'all. I'm talking, talking, talking. Let me... So, i am really been trying to get better about reading my Bible. Uh, I pray every day. That's something I, I definitely do every day. But as far as studying the Word, I've gotten bad about not really doing that. So, I was looking for some ways to really get into it and so i came across well it came up as a recommendation which i'm pretty sure it's because i was doing searches that the james method on instagram and so i went ahead and purchased it they had a deal um i accidentally purchased two this is how i plan on doing my hair i'm going to do this part see so now do y'all see why straighten it out a little bit more makes it easier so I'm going to take this right here and roll it up like this. And then, girl, is that the hook? Okay. 
Oh, this is what I had to do um, last time. I had to use a safety pin and hook it up. Let me go get a safety pin, y'all. Hold on. Why won't you sit? See, this is why I need to be doing Bible study because I'm talking about sitting on it. All right, y'all. <clears throat> See, so this is how the hairstyle, because it's giving you all, you know me, I'm, I'm retro, right? So now I need to part this. Yeah, I have to do this better um, when I officially do the hairstyle. So I'm going to part this in the middle. <sighs> and then... Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I, I, I'm giving you Star Trek. Yeah. So this is a lot. We're going to have the front doing like this. I mean, if anything, I'll probably take bigger sections. That's what we'll do. Why don't y'all tell me? That's what, this is what we'll do. Because I don't want, like, a lot of, we're going to do it in three sections. We're going to do this. Boom. And we're going to get into this giveaway. I'm not using any product because we're looking for a soft, pillowy. Like, picture me, it's a, this is a, like a, um... A Gap commercial. Do they make, make Gap commercials still? This is the look we're going for. All right. So, I already kind of talked about it, but as I stated before, I'm, I'm trying to. I've always wanted to get better about reading the word and digesting it. And so, I've been seeing some um, ads about what's called the James Method. And so, I purchased two of these. And I know y'all really, really... Let me bring this down. See if that does a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. So, I there's instructions on how to do it. So basically, it's a really, really it's a journal and a really detailed study guide on how to utilize the James method. So you have these circles here where you do you write the actual scripture, and then you highlight words that um, stick out to you or that you want more information about. You use these bubbles to do a definition, excuse me, to write the definition. And it's very, very detailed. I'm going to show you my expert I did. I believe it was um, the book of James. No, the book of John. I thought it was the book of James. Is this correct? Let me see. And so I didn't realize that Lazarus, I know I'm not pronouncing his name right, was Jesus' friend. I had no idea. So John eleven twenty five 25 says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet he shall live. <clears throat> then I take the circles and I wrote out, excuse me, I wrote out some of the words that I needed a little bit more clearer definition on. So, so for example, resurrection, resurrection, y'all, y'all know I can't pronounce nothing. The action or fact of resurrecting or being resurrected. Latin, it can be used as a noun or a verb, bringing something back into use or existence. Another one is dead, no longer alive, lack of activity or excitement, deprived of life. So yeah, <clears throat> so stuff like that. So again, and I'm gonna go through it as an example. I'm okay with to share with. So. It has even more information. It's two pages long. And when I tell you, this took me a little over an hour to do, which is a good thing. Normally, I would never have spent that much time. This is just on one verse, okay? So, there's other experts here on cross-references, meaning other um, scriptures that you can cross-reference this particular scripture. In context, what does this scripture mean? So, Martha, who was Lazarus' sister, was a little, I wouldn't say she was upset, but she felt like that if Jesus was there, then Lazarus would have been alive. 
then there's extra room here for different translations. Personally, I use the King James Version, but I wrote down other translations from different, um, different Bibles here. So then we also have here cross references. I have John 14, 6, Romans 6, 23. View of God. I just put here, he is the gateway to eternal life. Physical death is not the end. God's timing is the perfect timing. So Martha was saying, you know, if you were here, this wouldn't have happened. Jesus actually, there was a delay. He didn't come right away when he found out that his friend was sick and dying and that these, everyone was upset. Um, and this particular um, uh, part of James, excuse me, John, we see that Jesus actually cried. You know, Jesus wept. You can actually see that there. And so, but this is the thing. God's timing is the perfect timing, right? So view, it has another section here, excuse me, view of man or view of self. So I have to take some time here and really think about it. What do I think this really means? So I wrote down, we get so caught up in the physical realm, forgetting that we have eternal life after this. Even though things get rough, we need to continue to believe, believe and wait on God. Reflection and application. Life doesn't have to be complicated. Sometimes as mortal humans, we lose sight that this side is just temporary. I also have in the past tried to wait on God and believe that his no or delay isn't the right choice for me. So I try to fix it or do it myself, which is never the right thing to do. This is foolish behaviors and he knows. I'm not finished with here, so I have to finish it. Um, and then there's a prayer here, at the end, prayer here at the end. So this particular book is like 141 pages. And so I think this is a great way to study. And it, it gave me some time to sit there and really, really reflect on this particular peace and so this is going to be part of the gift you guys i think i know i would i don't have all christians in my um on my subscriber list and that's okay i'm okay with that you know but if you're a christian and you want to you know here is here is here for you all right and so also a part of your giveaway is going to be like i stated i thought i had got my book was gone hidden pictures now case in point hidden pictures this is a book so if you're into um mystery thrillers you will love this and so Heads up, this is gently used. And so I'm gonna show you, a, a, this is why it's called Hidden Pictures. Throughout the book, there are pictures. I'm gonna read the back of it so you'll know what you're getting, okay? I'm gonna read the back so you know what it's about, okay? Mallory Quinn is fresh out of rehab when she takes her job babysitting Ted and Caroline Maxwell's five-year-old son, Teddy. She immediately bonds with him, sweet little boy. He is never without his sketchbook. His drawings are the usual fare, trees, rabbits, balloons. But one day, he draws something different, a man dragging a woman's lifeless body. Then his stick figures evolve into increasingly sophisticated sketches depicting one disturbing scene after another. Is Teddy troubled or is he channeling forces he cannot possibly understand? Knowing just how crazy it all sounds, Mallory girl mallory must decipher the images and save teddy before it's too late beautiful so y'all i'm extra so that's gonna be a part of this so how do i enter your giveaway girl okay so let me tell you how y'all i'm very simple just write you can write whatever you want and just say hi to me but to enter the giveaway just write enter me below in the description box and you must be a subscriber okay so chit chat thank you so much um I will possibly try to have this giveaway once y'all say enter me within a week i'll come back but give me a time but because it's thanksgiving so it'll have to be the week after thanksgiving i will announce the winner and i'm pretty fast about mailing out stuff now so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all of my subscribers take care bye